France Football just named the latest Ballon d'Or winner. And of course, some people are excited about the results, while some feel like their favourite player was cheated. Well, that's how it always is, almost every year. But to be honest, on quite a number of occasions, some fans have had a right to feel cheated. We are not in any way questioning the integrity of France football, but what we know is that sometimes the award has gone to players who were not the most deserving in that year. And in this video, we bring you six very controversial Ballon d'Or winners. Number one, Luka Modric, 2018. If you are a Cristiano Ronaldo fan, surely you are still hopping mad about this one. Of course, Modric is a fine player, a legend in fact, and we will never be able to take that away from him. But he was certainly not the most deserving of the 2018 Ballon d'Or. He won the Champions League and led his country to the World Cup final, and we feel those are enough to get him on the podium. But surely Surely not enough to give him the award. The Croatian scored two goals and gave eight assists in 43 appearances in the 2017-18 season. And even in the World Cup, despite playing the most minutes at the tournament, he scored just two goals and gave one assist. We are surely not underrating Modric's contributions to his team's success, but we don't think that was enough to earn him the Ballon d'Or, especially when there was a certain Portuguese who scored 44 goals in 44 appearances. That's literally a goal a game. Come on! Well, rumours have it that that was Perez's way of punishing Cristiano for leaving Real Madrid that summer. They say the award belonged in Madrid and the Real Madrid president was not going to let Ronaldo take the prize to Turin. Number 2. Lionel Messi, 2010. Of course, Messi is probably the greatest person that has ever kicked a ball, and there is surely no denying his talent and his greatness. He has won numerous Ballon d'Or awards and surely he deserved most of them. But that one in 2010? Nah. Messi won La Liga that year and that was it. He got knocked out in the quarterfinal of both the Champions League and the World Cup. The World Cup exit was pretty humiliating. A 4-0 hammering by Germany. We're sure if you asked Messi how his 2010 went, he would have told you it was horrible. But somehow, he still wound up with a Ballon d'Or. How? Just how? Iniesta was right there. Iniesta won La Liga just like Messi but still went on to inspire Spain to win the World Cup that year. Iniesta even scored the only goal in the final which won Spain their first ever World Cup. That is the definition of a good year, my friend. A Ballon d'Or deserving year. There was even Wesley Schneider who won a treble and went on to inspire his national team to the World Cup final that same year. We wonder how Messi ended up with the Ballon d'Or that year. Number 3. Pavel Nedved, 2003. You may not know Nedved, but surely you know Thierry Henry. And everything was pointed to the Frenchman winning his first Ballon d'Or in 2003. But imagine everybody's shock when a certain Czech man was announced as the winner. Henri had a ridiculous season in 2002-2003 that winning the Ballon d'Or seemed like a no-brainer. That was the season he scored 20-plus goals and also assisted 20-plus goals in the Premier League, a record that has still not been matched in England. And Nedved, on the other hand, only scored 9 in the league, but because he won the Champions League in his first season at Juventus that year, France football overlooked Henri. That's simply not fair. That can't be fair. Number 4. Fabio Cannavaro, 2006. Everybody who watched football in 2006 knows who deserved the Ballon d'Or that year. And we also know the reason he didn't get it. That headbutt in the World Cup final cost Zidane what would have been his second Ballon d'Or. And okay, fair enough. Zidane didn't play fair on the biggest stage in world football that year, so give it to someone else. But that someone else should still not have been Cannavaro. Once again, Henri was a strong candidate. He made both the Champions League and the World Cup finals that year. And although he lost both, it is surely not a small feat reaching two major finals with club and country in the same year. Buffon is also another person we feel should have won it over Cannavaro. He was immense for both Juventus and Italy that year, and to be honest, more immense than Cannavaro. Finally, there was Ronaldinho. He led Barcelona to their first Champions League title win in 14 years, and he was the best player of the tournament and the second highest goal scorer. Don't forget that he also inspired Barcelona to win La Liga that same year. Number 5. Cristiano Ronaldo, 2013. The 2013 Ballon d'Or was supposed to be straightforward, and you know why? Because there was no international tournament that year. International tournaments somehow complicate things, you know? Because the player who dominates at club level may be different from the one who conquers the world stage that year. But in a year when there is no international tournament, you have just club football to focus on. So it should not be that complicated, right? Wrong! 
at least wrong for 2013, because we really do not know how France football saw a player win the Champions League, the league title and the domestic cup, but went ahead and gave the Ballon d'Or to a player who won absolutely nothing. Believe it or not, Cristiano Ronaldo won the coveted prize in 2013 without winning any trophy. You will struggle to find out any other time that happened. Everybody knew Ribéry deserved it. Everybody thought he was going to win it, but somehow it went to a great player who definitely did not have a great season. Number 6. Lionel Messi, 2021 Yes, Messi fans might hate us for this one because it's still very fresh, but think about it. Did Messi really outdo Robert Lewandowski in 2021? They both crashed out early in the Champions League, but Lewandowski did better for his club everywhere else. He won the Bundesliga and the Club World Cup as the best player in both tournaments, not to forget the DFL Super Cup he won in August, scoring two goals in the final. Messi, on the other hand, won just the Copa del Rey with Barcelona, and yes, he won the league's golden boot, but so did Lewandowski, and even did it better. The Polish striker outscored every other player in the European leagues, thereby clinching the European Golden Shoe, and if we're talking goal contributions, Lewandowski was definitely clear of every other player in 2021. And if we're talking trophies, Jorginho was clear of everybody else. He not only won trophies, but he won the biggest ones available in the year. So how France football ended up with Lionel Messi, we would just never know. Congratulations to Lionel Messi on his seventh Ballon d'Or, and believe it or not, we actually love the Argentinian forward, but the award should not have been given based on love, but based on performances and achievements in the year under review. We just hope that subsequent awards are given to the most deserving players. But hey, the next Ballon d'Or will be given in a World Cup year. Hmm, we can expect that one to be really spicy. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any of our videos. Catch you in the next one. Bye.